Okay guys, I decided I'd do a little uh, Sony Vegas tutorial because I've been looking at trying to do a rotating 3D logo that's on an infinite loop so it can be in the corner of my videos. But um, everyone seems to have a different way of doing it and I just wanted to show you the easiest way that I found. Well, actually I didn't find, I actually <laughs> mixed a couple of versions together and found the easiest way. So, yeah, to get down to the point, um, create yourself three little trucks. Um, if you didn't know, uh, the fucking uh, shortcut key is just Control Shift Q for that. Yeah. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is for layer three media generators, we are not going to use black like everybody else does. We are going to use green. And that, and that's that. That's your background. Now you're going to go to media generators. You're going to choose your text. You can also do this with logos, but I'm just going to show you the easiest way. Um, type in what you want your first text to be and I'll have that and I'll choose my blade 2 font so bam that's the first one done now we'll go on to the second one and we'll check down our second layer text and I'll type in car audio uh, change that go to blade 2 and that is done alright now so we want to shrink this down make that one the same size Voila. and just to make sure that lines up properly alright now on to the fun part this is going to give you your track motion and decide how it spins um, wait up I'll also add a background uh, edge to these just so it makes it look a little bit uh, more defined so put a black edge on that um, that's down in the corner Mm, yep. Oh crap. There we go. Um, done. All right. So we'll go to the first one. We go down to this little icon thing. Go 3D source alpha. Then we'll go over to track motion. Sorry if I am skipping over some of the things, but most Vegas users will already know where all these keys are. So it just makes it easier if I just yeah show you at my speed. Then all we do is once we're in the track motion and we've clicked 3D source alpha, you go to your rotation Y and your first one is going to start off as minus 90. This is going to make it so it's an infinite loop. And you can see you got one little keyframe there. We're just going to start another keyframe wherever. And where it, uh, that second keyframe is, we're going to turn that one to 90. So now if you see on here, we have two keyframes these little white dots, one's at minus 90, one's at plus 90, so minus 90 is going to start and the plus 90, drag it over to the end of your video. This is the easiest way unless you have your keyframes and that synced with your line, but I only just put on 11 and I haven't changed my settings yet, so <coughs> alright, so now we're going to do this second one, and the second one is going to have the exact same, so we'll go to track uh, thing, 3D source alpha, track motion and we're just going to give it two little keyframes we have our one and two now oh crap there we go so we've got one and two first one will start at again minus 90 and then the second one will be 90 alright so now we drag that over to there that over to there and if you watch the video voila starts to the spin Voila. Alright, that's meant to end at 90, and it's not ending at 90. Oh, great. I didn't choose that second keyframe, did I? There we go. <coughs> so we'll play from here again. And voila. So now you have an infinite loop. Since it's on a green background, it will be a lot easier. So I'll just render this up for you so you can see it fully. Uh, render as. My 720 settings. Render. Overwrite, yes. Uh, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Seems to be taking a bit longer because I'm running fraps. Poor CPU.
Alright, and then I'll show you a little thing because I'm tired of seeing people using the crop tool to fucking place images and where they want the images. So I'm going to show you the easy way. Hurry up, hurry up. Alright, we got it. So I'll show you this quickly. I do have it on loop so you'll see it on full screen. And see, the loop will start right about now. Alright, the ba uh, the, uh, don't tell me. I didn't get the green in line. Uh, whatever. Alright, so file, new, no, yes. So, we only need the two. <coughs> Alright, actually, we only need the one, but we go Explorer. Where is it? Refresh. And I'd say it's that. No? Oh yeah, yeah. So we'll go to the start here. That's why it's got the black. Yeah. Cause there's a freaking thing there. All right, so we'll go. Choose there. We'll go. Meter effects. Blah blah blah. Chroma key. Okay. Bam. Pick the little color thingy. Choose that. Done. Done. Alright, so, and now we'll drag it out and see if it continues in a loop. So, start from the beginning. And voila. <coughs> Continuous loop. Alright, now, if you want to do this on your video, you'll want a position or whatever it is. So we'll just go anywhere in this video just so I can see my keyframes. And we'll go to track motion again. Now, in, since you already got like, th you don't have 3D source out or anything on this one, you can just minimize, shrink it, make it bigger. Woohoo. You don't have to do all that crap in fucking, uh, what do you call it? The crop and that. Minimize there, and then grab the center and move it to where you want on the video. It's that simple. And then play. Voila. See? So, I hope this was able to show you how to do some things the easy way. <laughs> or if it was too complicated, ask me a question in the comments. I'm glad to answer and explain it as simply as I can. Alright, oh, also, since you, uh, if you have automatic setup, so it uh, gives you a sound layer, just go uh, bloody right click group remove from and then just right click delete and that will get rid of the sound file without it deleting like the picture or video file so there you have it you've got a 3d spinning logo thanks to sick vibration later